In this presentation, we will add items otherwise known as products and services within our accounting system. Get ready, because here we go with zero. Here we are in our job costing company dashboard. In the prior presentation, what we did was add accounts. We added accounts. Let's take a quick look at the accounts that were added by going to the accounting dropdown and then going on down to our chart of accounts. So if we go on in to the chart of accounts, we added the accounts on, I'm going to say the expenses tab. Let's move on over to the expenses tab for our chart of accounts and basically cost of goods sold type of accounts, which we included at direct costs. We included those accounts into the, the major categories being the direct materials, labor, and overhead. And then we added more detail for the direct materials. We did so with a list on our Excel sheet. So on our Excel sheet, we added these items onto our list as basically accounts. We're going to take these same, these same items here and add them as items or otherwise known as products and services. The products and services, these items, are going to help us to drive this information uh, to, to the proper accounts as we fill in the data input forms, such as the invoices and the bills and the checks, the money in and the money out type of forms. So we have to use these. This is like a, a really key component to doing the job costing system. We'll set up what's called often termed as double-sided items. Uh, note that some of this terminology is coming from basically a QuickBooks uh, type of system because QuickBooks, you know, when it comes to a software type of, of situation, uh, a lot of people will use a QuickBooks type of terminology and some of it will, will basically pull over. So we'll use what's known as a double-sided or two-sided items as we enter this uh, into the system and we'll use them in order to drive the data input forms for invoices and bills and things of that nature. So to do that, I'm going to hit the drop down up top. We're going to be then be going to adding the products and services. So we're going to go to the business drop down and then go down to the products and services. Now, again, some people will call these things items because that's what they were originally called. in let's say QuickBooks and, and other software like Peachtree or Sage or whatever. So now we've got but now even QuickBooks online is, is also reterming them to products and services, although the, the name sometimes switches back and forth between items and products and services. So just be aware that uh, you may hear these called items, you may hear them called products and services, and uh, this is what they are. This is where you go. So we're going to go to the products and services. We're going to be adding these products and services here. So we're going to add them one at a time, and we're going to do the same process in essence. We're going to be adding them in accordance with this list. So we're going to start with the uh, surface finishing. We're going to start with the finishing. So then we'll go on back on over here and we have the code which I'm going to try to just put the full thing in the code the surface finishing and the item name to keep them the same and then we're going to say I purchased this item so we're going to have both of these two items uh, set up notice that if you were to have just service items then you would typically say this is I, I sell this item so you could record the sales side of things if you have inventory then you'd have the purchase item checked off as well and you may track that inventory through the system which means you would check this last one off for us we're going to use kind of the double-sided items or the two-sided items which means we need the purchase side checked off and the sale side uh, checked off that will allow us to use these items to help us populate both the uh, billing information or 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 the the money going out type of, of uh, information as well as the uh, invoice type of information so that's what we're going to use so we're not going to be putting the price in as we go through this process we're going to say the purchase account the purchase account that we're going to be going to will be and i'm going to use the same account as the surface finishing so we set up the surface finishing for uh, the cost of goods sold type of account so we're looking for that surface finishing here uh, if I if I start to type it in there, I should be able to find it. Surface finishing. So that's the one we want, 512. And we're not going to have any tax. I'm not going to be adding any tax to it. And the description is going to be the same for the surface finishing. And if I tap through here, then we sell these items. Again, we're not going to put the price. This would be the sales price. We're going to add those when we enter the data input form, such as the invoice or sales receipt here. The account that it needs to go to then is going to be some type of sales account. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to hit the drop down. I'm going to pick the sales account that they gave us when they set up the chart of accounts, which is going to be 400 simply called sales. So there we have it. That's going to be our, our two accounts that are affected uh, on this transaction, our double-sided basically uh, transaction. 
I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to say save. And I'm going to say save and add another. Because we're going to do a bunch of these. We're going to go through this in a, in a similar process. So we'll get used to this, uh, this uh, function. So we're going to go back on over. Now we're going to do the gypsum. Uh, the plaster and the gypsum board. So let's go back on over. And we're going to say plaster and gypsum board. We're going to say that's going to be the item name as well. And then the purchase account, we should have a plaster and gypsum board account, and that's going to be 512. So this is the account that we set up last time by the same name. And then we have the description is populating for us. On the sales side, we just want the sales uh, account. So that means that on the revenue side, you can see that we're putting all the revenue into the, the revenue account. So when we, when we record the invoice, it'll be grouped under revenue. You could break out the revenue in a similar fashion, having different accounts as we did up here for different components of revenue. But oftentimes you want lesser of the revenue accounts and you may want more detail in the cost of goods sold uh, type of accounts. We'll talk about that more as we start to process the information. You'll see this being constructed in the financial statements. So let's do this again. We're gonna say save and another. Uh, we're gonna say thank you, can we have another? and go back on over and this is going to be the cement render so we'll have the cement render and go back on over for the cement rendering that's going to be the item code the item name and then we're going to say the account's going to be the cement renter for 516 uh, and then we're going to say the sales account is just going to simply be sales so same process same items here and then i'm going to say save a new once again so let's go save a new again and go back on over to Excel to pick up the next one. Back to Excel. We Now we have the ceramic tile and the other tile and the mosaic stuff. And I'm going to minimize Excel and pull that on over. So that's going to be here. It might be a little long for the code. And then we got the item. We're going to say the purchase account is going to be the one that we set up. There it is. And then we're going to say that on this account, the selling account needs to be sales. So the sales item is going to be there and there we have it let's do it again we're going to say let's see another one thank you can we have another and then we'll go back on over and say they're like yeah we're going to have the dropped ceiling now so we'll have the dropped ceiling so we're going to copy that one minimize the excel and then go into the item with the dropped ceiling we want to go into the account for the dropped ceiling and then we're going to go down to the sales area and type in sales and pick up the sales account. Let's do it again. Save and another. So let's try it again. Now we're going to do the flooring. This is the wide plank flooring. So we're going to go back on over here. Really pulls the room together. That's going to be the item, the item name, the account. I'm just, I'm just pasting this in there. And then I'm picking up the account. So this isn't the same, right? We're picking up the account down here, the account by the same name. And then over here, we're going to say sales. Sales. And that's it. That looks good. Let's do it again. Thank you. Can we have another? And yep, there we go. Now we want the marble. So the marble. And so we will pick up the marble. And we'll paste that into the code, into the name into the account because we're going to pick that 524 account we set up last time and then we're going to on the sales side just pick the sales account that they gave us and that's going to be account number 400 then we're going to do it again we're going to say can we have another and we got a few more to do here good times next is going to be the wall covering which of course includes things like the wallpaper and so we have the wall covering item name the purchase account for the wall covering is going to be 526 and then the sales account is going to be account 400 account 400 or sales there we have it let's do it again we'll hit the drop rise up that's a drop down or the rise up because it kind of it goes up instead of down so it should be a rise up and then we're going to say this is going to be the paint and wood stain paint and wood stain we're going to put that in the item code, the item name, and the purchase account. That's going to be account 528. 528 on the sales side of thing. Once again, it's just going to be that sales. It's kind of boring down here on this side. It's always the same. But then we're going to go to the, the uh, drop down, which is actually dropping down this time instead of rising up. Save and add another. 
And then we're going to go to the staff. This is not staff, remember, this in, in the sense of employees, but staff, as they say here, an artificial stone staff of some kind. I would think it would be a stick, like a staff is supposed to be a, like a stick. You just twirl around, but bow staff. So anyways, we got that. That's going to be the 530. And then the sales. Sales. There we have that, and let's continue this. We only got a, we have a couple more here. Save and another, so we're almost there. Next is the stucco, and then we could fin it up, finish it up with the wood finishing. So we got the stucco here, stucco, the item name stucco, the purchase account stucco five three two five three two being the account number, and then the sales account being sales account number four hundred. And then let's do this one more time. We only get to do this one more time because that's the last one we have. And then we have to stop. This is good times, but we have to stop at some point. Wood finishing. We're going to copy the wood finishing. We're going to go back on over and put that into the item code, the item name, the purchase account, which happens to be 534. And then in the sales account, we're going to pick account 400 as we have this whole time because that's the sales account and then that's going to be at this time instead of saying save and can we have another we're just going to say save which means like save and close and there we have it so there we have all of our our information i'll go through them slowly so that you can you could see the ones that we have put in there uh same process as we go in there if you have any problems with them you can of course adjust them by going back into them opening them up by simply clicking on them in the, in the blue area that's where the hyperlink will be That'll give you the detail of it, and then you can go and edit the item, and that'll take you back into that data input screen. So I'm going to close this back out, and that's going to be our items. Remember that the items, you can find them on the business dropdown. They're going to be the product and services items. We set them up as double-sided here, double-sided, meaning we're going to use the same items to help us to populate the, the, uh, the expense side of things when we pay for this information with money going out as well as the invoices or sales receipt when the money comes in. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.